Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I would like to show all 26 emails sent during the week of May 7th to May 13th between Ms. Ito and Mr. Yamaguchi. If you haven't checked my previous videos, please check them first. On May 7th, about 10 hours after the previous email, Mr. Yamaguchi sent another email. Ms. Ito, I will answer you first about how to reach me out of all the other inquiries you have sent me. Currently, I don't have an address temporarily in both Japan and the US, so I can't make a cell phone contract. I will let you know as soon as I get my cell phone in some way. Until then, if you send me an email, I will contact you immediately. I've been answering your emails right away or looking for a payphone and calling you. Like the day before yesterday when I got an email message from you while driving on the highway, I immediately got off the highway and called you from a public phone, but you didn't answer. I will not deceive or run away, and you can get in touch with me anytime, so please rest assured. Ms. Ito replied, Please tell me the date of your return to Japan, your contact information, and the contact information of your current stay, so that I can deal with things immediately when I go to the hospital. I can't go to the hospital unless you clarify that. If you say you won't run away or hide, please disclose these pieces of information and return to Japan immediately. I am calmed down. What more do you need to say to a woman who was raped and has the possibility of being pregnant? In fact, on this same day, Thursday, May 7th, Ms. Ito was examined at the Shin Yurigaoka General Hospital, resulted in negative for a pregnancy test. Although the examination time is unknown, the hospital closes at 5 p.m. So it's highly possible that the above messages of I can't go to the hospital and who was raped and has the possibility of being pregnant were sent after the pregnancy test and confirmed negative or in the hospital's waiting room or at worst on the way to the hospital. Even though it's to find out where Mr. Yamaguchi was, as explained in her book, it kind of scares me how easily she lies. About an hour later, Mr. Yamaguchi replied, What do you mean by rape? I can't agree with you at all. If you want to fight legally, let's do it. I'm absolutely fine. I'll take my lawyer to the next meeting. You can't win even if you insist on quasi-rape. I have a lot of witnesses. If you still want to fight, I'll get ready too. If you're willing to talk about it in a positive and honest manner, shouldn't you have an attitude that we can discuss? It's all up to you. I have no intention of attacking or making you suffer at all. I will spare no effort to get over this situation as soon as possible. However, if you remain hostile to me like you are now, I will no longer have a choice to deal with it. To dispel unreasonable criticism, I would accept a trial that will last for more than months or a year if you choose to burn and hurt each other. Can you talk about it calmly and positively? If you can, I'll go back to Japan immediately. The next email of Mr. Yamaguchi sent on May 8th is omitted in her book Black Box. Ms. Ito, in response to the hostile wordings of your email, my reply tends to be strong, but I will do everything I can to solve the difficulties you face. I think it's better to see you once and I'm thinking about going back to Japan very soon. I sent you an email about that, but I have not received any response. It takes some time to adjust the schedule and check flights back and forth between Japan and the US. Please let me know as soon as possible, as the time for my return to Japan will be delayed too. Again, I won't run away or hide and I will do anything I can. To do so, I'm replying immediately whenever you contact me. I would like to deal with various issues in a positive manner. In her book, Ms. Ito said she consulted Mr. A what to reply because her lawyer told her Mr. Yamaguchi would find out she was consulting the police if she didn't reply. Mr. A told her she could simply reply, I'll think about it. As I have said over and over again, right now my physical health is my top priority. Please let me think about it a little. Alright, I'll make it as convenient as possible for you, so please feel free to contact me. She couldn't trust the police, so she consulted with her uncle who used to be a former prosecutor. He said she could find out about Mr. Yamaguchi's entry into and departure from Japan if she asked the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. She put herself together and sent another email to Mr. Yamaguchi. This is the famous former prosecutor uncle issue. 
second one was prosecutor of my aunt, uncle. Um, is I have um, my uncle is um, deputy prosecutor, and I didn't know he was deputy because all of my family was calling him prosecutor, prosecutor. So that was my mistake that he was deputy prosecutor. Mr. Yamaguchi's lawyer investigated and he confirmed that there is no record of a prosecutor or a deputy prosecutor on either father's and mother's side. Moreover, immigration control is under the Ministry of Justice. A prosecutor belonging to the Ministry of Justice can possibly not mistake that. You say you're replying without running away or hiding, but you only reply like that and I haven't gotten the most important response over the past few days. So my fears haven't been removed yet and I feel like you're only protecting yourself. You said before that there was no possibility of pregnancy. What did you mean by that? You repeat you will do anything over and over again. Then what on earth is it that you can do? If you need an important answer that hasn't been replied to, please tell me. I'll reply right away. Why did you tell me before that there was no possibility of pregnancy? That's because of the illness I have. What kind of illness? Please tell me in detail because it is related to my health. It's an illness in which sperm activity is remarkably slow. I see. It sounds as if you are justifying sex without contraception by weak sperm. I thought you had a son, didn't you? Didn't you know anything about in vitro fertilization and other infertility treatments? Sperm activity is a very sensitive topic concerning men's confidence, especially when it's slow. It's nobody but Miss Ito herself who decided to discuss this very private matter in public, and in order to find out the truth, sometimes you have to disclose such private information. She made public this Mr. Yamaguchi's private information that any man in general would be very embarrassed about. Plus, she shrewdly omitted her sarcastic reply to him. How could she say to Mr. Eitaro Ogawa not to reveal her underwear? But an interview after the civil court's ruling, Ms. Ito said to Mr. Ogawa, who had revealed her clothes on the day of the incident, including her underwear, in an article. As a woman, I didn't want to reveal my underwear, but you made it public. I want you to think deeply before you write. Does it have a significance for society? Moreover, I have never been interviewed by you. In this regard, I would like to ask you what you think about writing unilaterally as a journalist. Why does she bring out women here? Isn't she a feminist who advocates gender equality? If she says she wanted him to be considerate of her as a woman, shouldn't she also be considerate of Mr. Yamaguchi as a man? In the book, she says, the followings are the main emails that we exchanged. But if you see the omitted emails, it shows that Ms. Ito is persistently and overbearingly pressing Mr. Yamaguchi to take concrete action. On May 9th, I have been taking a positive attitude towards solving problems and answering your questions, but if you are in a different position and policy, then these interactions are pointless. Too bad. My period hasn't come yet. I've been so scared I can't sleep since that night. What is the specific meaning of your positive attitude toward resolving the problem? On May 10th, please answer. What is your positive response that you mentioned? Even though you say you will do what you can, that you won't run away, yet you still haven't even apologized to me who was hurt. If I'm pregnant, I can never tell my parents that it's yours, a married man who has a son and who's around the same age as my father. Besides, it's too filthy and immoral that you did it against my will. Too bad if you won't respond to this email with your more specific action, even though I contacted you in urgent need for a medical reason. If you need urgent medical action, I'll help you as much as I can, so please be specific. Also, if you want to meet and talk with me, I suggested to return to Japan temporarily for that reason, but I haven't received any specific response from you since then. You accuse me, but you don't tell me exactly what I should do, so I'm at a loss. I feel very bad that you are exhausted mentally and physically, and I will do everything I can to improve it, so please suggest concrete things to do. And I haven't apologized because our perception of facts are fundamentally different. The things you mentioned in the previous emails also quite differ from the actual facts. However, if I object to your claim about the facts, it could be further psychological pressure on you, so I dare not refute. It's not that I don't intend to apologize to you at all. 
Apologizing vaguely when we have fundamentally different understandings of the facts causes misunderstandings in many ways, so I think it's inappropriate. Again, I'm deeply concerned about the fact that you're suffering alone not being able to talk to anyone. Please tell me specifically what I should do now. On May 11th, I'd like to hear your apology and remorse first. What do you mean by differing from the actual facts? As long as I can't have your response on this point, I think it's meaningless to talk to you from now on. Our job is to tell the truth, right? I hate people who distort facts the most. You said you would reply as soon as possible. It's distressing to even wait like this. Your reply to my previous email took around 25 hours. This time, you only waited for 4 hours and you complained. Is there anything that can be solved by denouncing and threatening in a high handed manner? Can't you calm down a little? Do you think the discussion will proceed with your present attitude? Can't you try to solve the problem together? It was you who said you would respond as soon as possible. You presented yourself. This doesn't fall within a threat. Please don't change the subject anymore. That is not the answer to my previous email. Let me repeat it. I'd like to hear your apology and remorse first. What do you mean by differing from the actual facts? As long as I can't have your response on this point, I think it's meaningless to talk to you from now on. Our job is to tell the truth, right? I hate people who distort facts the most. I'm only asking the same question again and again, and you keep changing the subject from my question like this. So, can I recognize it as you have no intention to answer? May 12th. You mean, I'm obliged to reply to you quickly, and you can reply to me whenever you feel like it, right? Please reread my May 10th email regarding apologies and support. Also, I will not discuss the facts with you via email. That means I won't respond to your request of unconditional apology. I think anyone would respond the same way in this situation. It doesn't mean that I deny the support you need. I am still ready to support you based on good intentions. If you tell me specifically, I'll do everything I can. However, if you continue to be aggressive and hostile like now, the same thing will repeat pointlessly if I interact directly with you, so I will let a third party involved from now on to contact you. May 13th. I got a call from the Japanese media in Washington that I had asked about your job. They want to have an interview with you. Apart from the current situation where our communications are not doing well, if you are interested in working in the US, please feel free to let me know what you would like to do. Ms. Ito, you may not take it as it sounds, but I am worried about you. I'll do anything I can to support you, and I'm still ready to hear what you want me to do specifically. That's all the emails. What do you think? She is trying to force him to apologize and demand self reflection using a high handed and overbearing attitude. When he asks, What do you want me to do? she asks back, What can you do? Because if she suggests it, it will be a crime of extortion. Even if he didn't pay, it will be attempted extortion. I'm sure Mr. Yamaguchi knew her intention. That's why he also repeated, Tell me specifically what I should do. Actually, he told her he was flying back to the US on May 5th, but he didn't. He stayed in Japan at least until May 9th, then flew to Washington. According to a photo that a Japanese journalist posted on Facebook, Mr. Yamaguchi had dinner with other fellow journalists on May 8th in Tokyo and was encouraged not to quit TBS. I don't know if his schedule suddenly changed or he intentionally lied to her, but surely he didn't want to see her proactively. Some people might say that this is the proof that Mr. Yamaguchi did rape her, but to me it's more convincing that he was reluctant to see a woman who accused him wrongfully. She also says in a book, I couldn't stand being connected to Mr. Yamaguchi even by email, so my friends wrote drafts of email for me. However, considering how late at night she emailed or how in the short time she replied, I don't think she consulted with her friends and replied. Her friends must have jobs, or maybe they have a family. It would be impossible to be with Miss Ito all the time. Except the second email, which was written by someone who obviously isn't Miss Ito. The tone of the other emails has consistently been coercive and threatening. I think Miss Ito tries to shift the blame onto her friends for the threatening emails by saying they aren't what she wrote. 
In the book, the part where she went to a hospital to have a pregnancy test with her nurse friend S comes after all the exchanged emails. She says her period was one month behind schedule, even though she had taken the morning after pills, and she had irregular bleeding too. So the police investigator A recommended her to go have the pregnancy test. This makes the readers think she went for a pregnancy test after sending this series of emails saying, "I'm scared if I get pregnant." It made me think so too until I read the court document. This is nothing but a malicious attempt to get readers to perceive things differently from the facts for her own convenience. In addition, bleeding for three days, six days after taking the emergency contraception pill, is a typical successful case of emergency contraception pill on many websites. When she came up with date rape drugs, she immediately searched websites for information about memory loss and nausea symptoms when DRD was used. If she searched for emergency contraception pills, she could have gotten the correct information immediately. As for this, as a woman, I have to say, give me a break. In the next video, we will move on to Miss Ito's life of the rest of 2015 after the direct battle with Mr. Yamaguchi.